So let us take some more examples for this canonical collection of LR1 items, that is the LR1 parsing. Suppose there is a grammar of kind, A produce, S produces capital A, small a, capital A, small b, S produces capital B, small b, capital B, small a, A produces epsilon, and A produces, B produces epsilon. So this is the grammar given to us. Let's write the augmented grammar for this. So S dash produces dot S with a dollar, as a look ahead, dollar will be a look ahead for the start symbol. And now all the production is starting with this capital S. So S produces dot A small a small b. And then since this is written because of this S, so the first of dollar will be the look ahead. Similarly, for this production also the second one, B B B A and a dollar as a look ahead. Now, since that uh, there is a, a non-terminal after this dot, so we'll be writing all the production is starting with this capital A. So A produces epsilon. Epsilon means nothing. So we're writing A produces dot. And what will be the look ahead? We're writing this production because of this capital A. So first of all these symbols after this A, so small a, capital A, small b, and dollar. So first of these symbols will be small a. So the look ahead is a small a. Similarly, a b is appearing after this dot. So all the production is starting with this b. b produces epsilon means nothing. So b produces dot and the look ahead will be first of small b, capital B, small a and dollar. Fine. So uh, small b will be we look ahead because first of small b, capital B, small a, and dollar. Fine. So this is the first item that we produce. Let us give it a number 0. Now we are going to look for capital S. So S dash produces S dot and a dollar as a look ahead. So this is the item number 1. And then let's take a capital A here and this leads to S produces A dot small a capital A small b and a dollar as a look ahead. Why dollar as a look ahead? Because we are going to see this in this production. Okay, so A has got shifted. So the look ahead of this will be the look ahead of this only. So this is the second item and then a capital B so S produces B dot small b capital B A and the look ahead will be same of this production a dollar let's give it a number three fine no more transition from state number zero no more transition from one there are the transitions possible from second state. So let's take a transition with small a. So S produces capital A, small a, dot capital A, small b with a dollar. Fine. Now if uh, the non-terminal a is appearing after this dot, so all the production is starting with capital A with a dot in the beginning. So capital if starting from capital A, we have only one production. A produces epsilon. So A produces dot and the look ahead for this case will be first of B dollar. We, have, we are starting this production because of this capital A. So the symbol that will be following this capital A is B and dollar. So the first of this will be B. Okay. So this is a new item. Give it a number. Let's say 4. Fine. So now see the transition from a small, uh, this is state number 3, with a small b. So S produces capital B, small b, dot, capital B, small a, and the dollar as a look ahead. And then this after dollar, there is a capital B. So this capital B, all the production is starting from, from this capital B, which is epsilon only, B produces epsilon. So B produces dot and the look ahead will be 
the symbols those are following this pin so a dollar so first of this will be a okay now this is item number 5 and then let's see some transition from this state number 4 let's take a capital a from here so s produces capital a small a capital a dot b with a look ahead dollar so this is state number 6 fine now with this is state number 5 capital B S produces capital B small b capital B dot A and the look ahead is dollar okay. after the sixth state the transition is because of this small b symbol so S produces capital A small a capital A small b dot and the dollar is a look ahead let's say this is the state number this was state number seven let's say this is state number eight and from this on transition with a small a s produces capital b small b capital b small a and dollar as a look at let's say this is the state number nine fine so no more transition from nine no more transition from eight now let's make the table the transition table or the passing table so this passing table number of states are 0 to 9 so 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and 9 here the action part and here is the go to part the symbol in the action part will be small a small b and dollar small a small b and dollar and go to the symbols will be s a and b capital s a and capital b fine now let's write the transitions here so from zero with capital s you are going to run on zero with capital s you are going to run on zero with capital a you are going to do on 0 with capital B you are going to 3 on 1 no transition but with if you accept the dollar you will be accepting the string as well so on 2 with small a you are going to 4 on 2 with small a you are going to 4 so you will be writing as 4 because the small a is the terminal symbol you will be writing shift operations on 3 with small b you are going to 5 on 3 with small b you are going to 5 as 5 on 4 with capital A you are going to 6 on 4 with capital A you are going to 6 fine on 5 you're ca on capital B you are going to 7 on 5 on capital B you are going to 7 fine now on 6 with a small b you are going to 8 on 6 with a small b you are going to 8 so we will be writing as 8 here on 6 with a small b you are going to 8 is 8 and now on 7 with a small a you are going to 9 on 7 with a small a you are going to 9 so we will be writing as 9 here ok now the final items let us find out where the final items are final items there are in the state number 0 also there are two final items and then the final item is there not here yes here in the state number four a produces dot and b produces dot is there in the state number five a final item is there in the state number eight and final item is there in the state number nine now let us number these productions one two three and four okay. now uh, let us write this uh, reduction items here in the table so in the zero state a produces dot so it's in zero this the production number is three so we'll be writing r3 
but only at the place of a so r3 here so b produces dot b produces epsilon r4 at the place b only r4 now state number 4 state number 4 is this one here we have final item a produces dot so meaning that a produces epsilon state uh, reduction item number 3 because the production number is 3 so in 4 at the place of b only b at the look ahead side you will be writing r3 in state number 5 we have b produces dot so that means b produces epsilon reduction item number 4 at the place of a only so state number 5 you will be writing r4 at the place of only a small a now if we are going to for the state number 8 state number 8 is this one so in, in the state number 8 this is actually the production number 1 at the place of only dollar we are going to write this r1 so in 8 at the place of dollar we are going to write reduction item number 1 in the state number 9 which is the production number 2 only at the place of dollar we are going to write r2 right? so this completes the table Thank you.